Hi everyone, for today's video, I'm going to show you guys on how to do this type of GIF on your VSD inside Stream Doc. So let's get right into the video. So this one is usually done in Elgato Stream Docs, but in this video, I'm going to show you guys using my M18 and N1 Stream Docs. Let's check it out. Alright, so I created a notepad here for me to explain it very well or clearly. So I have two stream docs, the M18 and the N1. So the M18 looks like this right here. So it's like a landscape layout type of stream doc, like the usual stream docs. And um, we have the n1 as well which is this type right here this one is like a portrait layout type of stream doc so this video is intended for both either the n1 or the m18 so let's get to the note here so for m18 this is the dimension and for the n1 this is the dimension notice that we just uh, change the uh, numbers or the values right there but yeah that's how i measured my m18 and n1 dimension so you can use this for this video we're going to use the n1 which is the portrait stream doc so first let's go to this site easygif.com and then select crop and choose the file so we are going to be choosing the simplest file we can see online so the basic thing that you have to remind yourself when downloading a GIF is that you have to have a GIF that is there's not a lot of movements in the GIF because if there is a lot of movements there's going to be a delay if it's for portrait you have to pick something you have to pick something like this like it's wide and you can do a portrait but if it's for a landscape you have to of course choose something gif that's like landscape so let's put the width here as we are using the n1 this is the dimension 216 by 360 216 by 360 and we have to set it now this is the overall or the uh overall um stream doc keys that we're going to be using so this is the one so like that and we have to select here crop image after cropping this image it should look like this and you have to save it okay i'm just going to be moving the that folder to the folder that I've created because it's much easier for us to find where it is. So I've just done moving it. Now, what you're going to do is to select crop once again. And you're going back to the same page and choose file and choose the crop image that we have saved. So this is how it looks like. Okay. So what we're going to do first is we're going to do 0, 0, this one is 72, and this one is 72. You have to set it, and this is the first, first button of our stream deck, and select one of one square, crop the image, and save. So let's do the second box so moving to the left now we're going to do 72 set right here moving to the right from the left moving to the right so we're going to change the left um, value here so that's it crop and save that's going to be number two it's automatically save on my end Next is, let's set this one to 144. Same thing here as for our notes, so each box. So we add 72. So 0, 72, 144, 216, 286. That's how you uh, change the value. 
you have to add 72 for every number. So set, so it's done. 144 for number three. And crop image and hit save. It's done. Next part is we're going to go down here in this part. So we have to choose the left zero. Top 72. Set. So if we're changing the columns, we're going to change the top. If we're changing the rows, it's a left. We have to change the value of the left here. So this is the font, the one first going down and then crop, save. We have to do that for 15, uh, 15 times, of course. So moving to the right, so we have to change the left here. So it's 72, sit, and crop, save. And we're on our last box here. Crop, save. And that should be all done. So I've done it 15 times. It's quite easy. Um, in the first part, it's very tedious job to do, but it's quite easy to do it because you're just repeating the process 15 times. And then we're all going to open our VSD craft. And I'm going to put it to the number four here, number four slide or number full number four scene i don't know so let me just remove this so i'll hit delete so that i can maximize all the buttons and i'm just going to select if you would like to use like an app for example if you would like to open an app same as like this so you just have to drag it there in an app like there blood strike and then we can change it so if you would like to open an app you can do that but if not i'm just going to use um, a default here which is sin shift and i'm just going to put it all in each boxes so it's up to you what would you like to use that button for but for me i'm just going to do the default or i'm just going to do a sin same Okay, same um, actions for all buttons. And then I'm going to select the first one and then settings here. And then select local file. And then find the uh, local file that we're going to use. So it's here on my end. So I'm going to pick the first one. First box right there. And then the second box, select local file and the number two. And then I'm going to select again, number three. And then I'm just going to fill up everything. So you will notice once you're looking at the um, image or the GIF itself, you'll notice that it's not synchronized as what you're seeing right now in this video. It's not really synchronized. So the thing that we can do here is to change the shift or the scene. So from scene 3 and then scene 2, scene 1, then let's go back to scene 4. Now it's going to be on sync as you can see. Well, it's, it's look at that. It's, it looks like it has two hands, but that's how it was cropped. But one of the example here as well is this guy, our mushroom guy, and um, Jake from Adventure Time. There's, it's not that clear, to be honest. But you can, yeah, you can maybe try experimenting dimensions and boxes if you would like to. But that's just an example for you to use if you'd like. And for best result, pick the dimension that suits your stream doc. So if it's for portrait like the N1, pick a portrait type of GIF. And uh, choose something that has less movements or slow movements or at least less movements for GIF because there is a delay. 
or a GIF that has a lot of moving parts. That's all for this video.